things yeah. come mid mid September. Okay. okay. But supposedly, uh, I guess the people that's gonna know they're gonna let loose a nuke in the Atlantic Ocean, and it's gonna be a giant tidal wave that and it's uh, it's gonna engulf like in that movie Deep Impact. Oh, and, and uh, the East Coast is going to be if it happens, water. hey, we're, if it we're happens, looking to be, hey, we're looking to be delivered anyway. That's man. right. That's right. If, if meteorites come, like in uh, uh, that movie, uh, uh, Deep Impact, yeah, they're saying that's what's going to happen. You're not going to be looking to go into a uh, uh, asphalt mine and all yeah, that. Yeah, they ain't going to save you. Get being part of a lottery. If you hit the number, you you can be in the asphalt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 Line pitch and all that bullshit, yeah. man. Assault mines, where, yeah. it, where it's gonna protect you. Look, we're gonna trust. We're gonna trust in your by Shimmy Alshad, like Omar Sharif did. Yeah. The Lord wasn't with him. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is this. First of all, if that happens, it happens. It's all to the will of the Lord. But the thing is this. First of all, uh, the Lord said this when uh, He destroyed the earth by water the first time during the time of uh, Noah, and then after the flood. The Lord destroyed the world by deluge back then. The most I put that rainbow up as a promise that he wasn't going to destroy the world by this. This destruction is going to be by fire, man. The scripture said America is going to be taken out by fire, not by some another flood. So that's number one. So like, what, do you have faith in the Lord? But going to what the scriptures say, that's that's false. Okay? The most High going to destroy this place by the missiles. Man. The missiles is what's going to take America out from coast to coast, man. And Yahweh Shine and the angels, because it's in the scriptures, it's in the prophecy. Now, if, if America is destroyed by water, then that means the prophecy ain't true. Okay, that means, which we know, the, it's gonna be destroyed by fire, man. Okay, if anybody out there is, is wondering on that, whatever Esau is planning, whatever. But remember, the Most High control through way of the spiritual demon Satan. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shine controls Esau and what they do. Esau ain't gonna do his own thing, man. The back of Isaiah 34, beginning at 9. Well, let me start at 8. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance. <laughs> the Lord going to take vengeance primarily on America, man. Primarily on this place. It, I think it's written, um, the eyes of the Lord upon the sinful kingdom. And he will destroy it from the face of the earth. That's America, man. All right. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance. And the year... <laughs> And the, uh, you thought the Lord was all love, right? You morons that go to these dime store churches. For, for it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. Yeah, for what the so-called white man has done to the Israelites. Which that's you so-called Negroes, you West Indies, you Puerto Ricans that dwell right here in America. You are Zion, even though you don't know it. A lot of you. And the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch. And the dust thereof into brimstone. What is that? That's fire. Okay? And the land therefore shall become burning pitch. So the whole land is going to be on fire. And it's going to be, uh, uh, you're going to have the satellites from outer space broadcasting those pictures of America on fire to the other countries around the world. So, so you know, uh, Gil Scott Heron said the revolution will not be televised. No, the d destruction of America will be televised. Which is a revolution. Which is the it's revolution. It's not going to be televised in America. All right. It's going to be televised yeah. on uh, uh, RT and um, That's right. Euro News and the BBC and Al Jazeera. That's right. Press uh, TV. Uh, I'm handed to you. Uh, 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 you to make the point. So how can it be on fire if it's underwater? How the hell is America going to be under fire? Yeah, the way yeah. this place is going to be destroyed is by way of fire. By way of fire. I got a scripture real quick, okay. uh, 2 Peter 3, 7. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reser reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Uh, uh, in the 10th verse, Isaiah 34 and 10. And you brothers, man, you should get into Isaiah 34 because it lays it out for you. The future of America. Matter of fact, we're gonna read it and uh, down at the speaking. Yeah, which it, we're getting ready to close anyway. It's like a movie. You read Isaiah 34. It's like, and you put the images in your mind as you read it. It's like seeing a movie, a movie of America's destruction, a, a movie not even my man Ridley Scott could make. All right, and he's a one hell of a director too. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's, 
<laughs> that's right. That's right. Isaiah 34 and 10. It shall not be quenched night nor day. So this place, like Elita always brings out about the two buildings, the, the, the twin towers. It's smoldering for a long time. Yeah, how it was burning for a while. That was for months. Right. Because we actually went down right. after the missiles dropped, after the planes hit, so, right. so to speak. We went down there, man, like a week later. Yeah. You go down there, man, that's some smoke kept going up, man. It was a long time, man. Yeah. yeah. So imagine the whole of America, okay? Well, after the fire stops, the smoke going to be going up for, ye- for a number of years, man. And that's what the scripture is going to say, too. It, it shall not be quenched night right. nor day. So you ain't going to have no firemen trying to put out that fire, right? <laughs> well, they're going to be on fire. <laughs> they, it shall not be quenched night nor day. The smoke thereof shall go up forever. From generation to generation, it shall lie waste. That backs up with Ellen. Uh, what you said about the fingernail. And the only thing we'll be able to do years later, we'll fly over it and we'll Cut. show our children, well, that was Babylon. That's the hell that we was in. That's, that's when that Edomite was. And you're looking at the Edomites in the field looking like Planet yep. of the Apes and shit. Yep. Yep. Talk about them people ruled over y'all. Yeah, they ain't going to believe it. They ain't going to believe it. Hey, but then you can do a, holo- a hologram yeah, in the room and that's actually right. show it, man. And show it, yeah. That's right. And show how Esau really yep. thought he was the man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Roth, that's, and the Rothschilds going to be in the field, oh, man. man. Oh, man. You know, picking cotton. Oh, man. You Rothschilds, man. I, saying, Mr. Slave Man. Yeah. Get, get this slave. Get this slave. Get slave, that. get this. Slave, get that. <laughs> hey, hey, man. It shall lie waste. None shall, none shall pass through it forever and ever. That's it, brother. And with that, we're going to say shalom.